In this video, we're gonna be talking about Adalo. This is for the complete beginner. We're gonna talk about key features, the pricing, how to get started with Adalo quickly, building your own application. And at the end, something that I've been begging them to do for three and a half years, and Adalo actually reached out to me and we talked. So let's get right into it. What is Adalo? Adalo is a platform where you can build a mobile app for your business. I think this is perfect for ones that already have a business, a local business, laundromat, doing lawn care service, restaurants. I think this is perfect for that use case. You can do this if you're an agency and a startup founder, but we'll talk about the pros and cons in just a little bit. But I think it's a great tool to get started. I actually think it's one of the best ways to build out databases. Let's talk about the 2.0, what it's known for and all of those things. So let's look at the key features. When we look at a dollar 2.0, one of the things that stand out is the responsive app builder. So if you're thinking about, well, I need this to look great on all different devices, you don't have to worry about that. It will be responsive. It will look great. All of those different things. Also, if you're planning to pub publish it for the web and you're going to be putting it in the app store, you can do that as well. So you can build all of your screens perfectly. You can have conveniently a shared layout. So Basically, if you're going to have one format that goes across all of the different types, mobile, tablet, web, it can do all those things. You can select custom layouts as well. And then also too, which I really like, you can visualize what it will look like before you publish it. So you can go through the entire process. You can try out all of these different things and it's, it's just great. So if you're looking for a low lift, something that is very easy, to start with in no code, I think Adalo is one of the two options that I would choose. Now, let's get into pricing briefly. There are several different plans now. There are five different ones. I would say, simply put, where are you in your business? If you are just starting out, you need an MVP, a minimal viable product. You need to either take this to investors. You need to take this to your customers before you start making money. You can start with the free plan. And you can do all of these things where you can have a database and have collections. You can use the Adalo backend. You can have unlimited screens, unlimited test apps. Really, this allows you to get to your validation point before you even pay your, you know, pay your first dollar. I think that's wonderful. If we look at the starter plan where it's $36, that's where you can publish to the web. You can have a custom domain, custom fonts and all the other features okay so that's 36 dollars. i think that's going to be oh that's uh building billing up monthly Let's see what it would be oh annually okay 36 monthly 45 okay so we'll look at the annually 36 dollars. all right professionally you can have two published apps so you can bring it to the app stores you can have thirty thousand monthly app actions there is something that i've mentioned in other videos if you look at the terminology, what do they describe an app action as? Look at the terminology for a dollar in their documentation. But I talked to their team about that as well. I want this to be a little bit more spelled out, uh, at least on this page, so I can see what's going on. But app actions, what does that look like? Does that qualify as clicking to another page? Is that generating a API call? Is it the backend query to the database? What do we define? app actions, but there's 30,000 of them. So I think you'll be fine to get started. Um, from there, you have custom integrations, design versions, geolocation, and you can publish to the app store. A lot of people are big on, hey, I need to have an app uh, in the app store. Just keep in mind too, there's a whole other strategy if you're going to be putting in the app store. It doesn't mean that you're going to have a successful app launch simply by having it in the app store. You have to strat have a strategy when you bring it to market, but that's an option. It's $52 a month. And then we have the team option where it's 160 a month. We have five published apps, 100,000 monthly app actions, 10 app editors. So your team builds, everything like that. All pro features, priority support, Xano integration collections, API. So one thing that I'd be looking at is the Xano integration, okay, or it depends on what database you're using. And then for the collections of APIs. So are you 
tapping into another system, you know, APIs or talking to two different systems, are you using APIs? That might be something that, you know, is concerning to you or something that you have to consider. But again, I think one of the benefits, and we'll go into it more, is Adalo, I think this is great for small businesses. And a lot of times you would be fine on the starter plan. In the comment section down below, let me know what kind of business are you creating? Are you using this for your own local business? Are you a no-code agency and you're planning to use Adalo for your clients? Or are you a freelancer? Let me know in the comment section down below. We went through the basic features, the pricing. Now let's get started with using Adalo. Now, again, you can get started for free with Adalo. Once you sign in, you're going to be able to decide. Do you want to create a mobile, tablet, and desktop you know, application? Or do you want to do mobile only? For right now, I'm going to, let's go with mobile tablet and desktop. I go to next. And then now I have a couple different options of what do I want my application to be like. I can go with learn Adalo, so I could have that as an example. Uh, but let's go with the to-do list. Now I can also look at advanced options if I want. It says, do I? how do you want to set up your data? Create a new database, share a database with an existing app. Let's go with create create a new database. I click on to-do list. I'm going to say next. I'm going to say uh, to-do list beta test. One second, one second. And then who are the users of this app? I'm going to say internal users. We have the colors here. I'm going to say create. So it allows me to have primary colors, secondary colors. And in just a few moments, now I have the application built out for me. As we first come into the, the canvas and the editor of this application, we're gonna start from left to right. If we look on the left-hand side, we have different things here. First, we have the plus sign. This allows us to be able to see all of the different components and screens. We can trigger and go back and forth, so we have more room here, right? We can see all the screens. I'm going to click plus. And then now I can see add components, add screens, right? If we go down, we can look at the overall branding of the application. Right now we have primary and secondary colors and default. We can change these out if we want to by clicking on it and then changing it from there. We can click fonts and we can change out different fonts as well. For screens, this allows us to see the screens or the different pages of the application. We have them right here, and as I scroll through them, they highlight. And then also I can add a screen if I want to. I can search different screens. I can start from scratch, but, and it also says most used. I really like that. Allows me to see different layouts, a lot of different, a lot of different choices, but easy to navigate. And then also shows me, yeah, I can see the other templates. Okay, so branding, screens, database. Now what's great about this right here and one of the one of the things that stand out with Adalo is it does all of the relationship information or relationships for my da database. What does that mean? So instead of me telling the database how it's set up, how the information is related to each other, when I'm using a template, Adalo allows me to do this automatically and so it already associates the users with to-dos and the sub-to-dos. It did all of those things. So if you have been struggling in the past how to build, you know, one-to-one -one or one-to-many relationships in databases, Adalo is perfect for this because it does all of those things for you to get started and move even quicker. From there we look at settings, we have the app settings, we can look at app layout types, display settings, app access, copy, uh, copy and delete, and then ABI keys as well. Then we have an option to publish. We can look at the analytics of how well the app is doing. We have the version history, and then we have an option. Hey, do we need to hire someone? Okay, if we need more help, let's do it. So here is the progression of the navigation of what's going on with the different pages. Now, if we look at this, a nice feature as well, let me zoom in. You see as well, when we're highlighting, I'm not sure if you see it's really light. When I'm highlighting different parts of the application, I'm already getting 
the through line. So I'm getting how the workflow of the application works, right? So when I'm trying to create a to do uh, to do application, me trying to think about the progression of the application, it's already done for you. The progression of when you're going to be logging in, signing up, all of those things are done automatically when we use a template. We can scroll in, see different pages, be able to navigate to them. And then when we want to navigate and change those different parts of the screen, now we have the components. And when we scroll over different components, now we can look at how we can change that application or that part of the application, that page right there when we're using a dollar. In the comments section down below, let me know, are you using a template? Do you want to start from scratch? What are you using a dollar for? Now let's get into the elephant in the room that I've been talking about since 2020, and that is the speed of the generating the images, generating the database, all of those things. The performance was really bad. So me talking about this in the video, actually Adalo reached out to me, which is awesome. Shout out to Adalo. And they let me know about a couple of things I had no idea. Now they have something called a change log, and that just allows you to see the updates of what's happening with that, with the platform and what they're basically changing. How are they addressing bugs and features and all those things and improvements? And the change log that is not easily found on the adalo.com site actually is wonderful. I looked for this for a long time, <laughs> but they sent me the link to this. And I think they should promote this because I've been talking about like image loading database. People have been talking about it in the chat for a while. Well, guess what? In June of 2023, they actually started talking about the performance changes with image loading and then also uh, performance with most screens. Uh, it, all of these things, it's found in the change log. So this is really good. We can see even by this test, the images are loading a lot quicker. My question and my challenge to you, the viewers, Adalo, different ones that love Adalo, I would love to see a test or before and after how the loading is for the database and then also what kind of database or what kind of information are you storing? I think that's really important. The image loading, this is fantastic. And there are tons of other changes and noted changes right here in the change log. So take a look at that for a dollar. But regarding larger apps that are using tons of data in queries of data of 10,000, 100,000 rows, what does it look like there? I would love to know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, let's just talk about what I think about a dollar in general and going into 2024. I think that it can be a really good platform for some people. Now, I will say that about almost any single platform. I've talked about Flutterflow, Softer, Glide, Canonic. The list goes on and on. Bubble. The platforms can be great for very specific use cases. Some platforms are great for local businesses. Others are great to expand and to do crazy things like creating the next YouTube. That can be possible with some of these no-code platforms. I think that what really stands out with Adalo is and what's, what makes it shine is I think it's really good for local businesses that already have profitability or already have clients, and they are looking for an application that streamlines whatever they need for their clients. They're not trying to validate something. They already know their users, and they know the key features that they need. And if Adalo has it, it's wonderful because the Adalo database is good enough for them. They can easily maintain it. It is no must, no fuss. And I really think this is one of the great no-code platforms that are on Rails. It's really hard to break. I really like that. I think it's great for a lot of people. That being said, it's not perfect for everyone. No platform is. If you're looking to scale or to have all of this flexibility, you want to have all of these integrations, I don't think Adalo is great for you. But if you're trying to run a local business, build out an MVP to validate your idea for investors or your customers, and you need something that looks professional and easy to navigate, to show off, to show that you're a pro, I think Adalo is great for this. With this shift, personally, I feel, I think Adalo is in a different category of no-code tools, and they're less against 
glide in softer flutter flow we web bubble i think they're more in the category that they need to fight against the build fires the um good barbers of the world if you want me to do more videos of comparisons and which ones i would choose let me know in the comment section down below but again to get started with a dollar for 2024 start today there's a link down below i think it's a great product i think you would really enjoy it and if you think that there is something else that you need to build make sure in the comment section you let me know also if you want to know how people are using no code and ai to build businesses build startups run their business and how much money they're making make sure that you download the 2023 no code ai industry survey this is our second year building this out there's a lot of interesting insights about how people are using ai how much people are making with no code and the future going into 2024 the link's going to be down below i'll see you in the next video